Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Source classes. Today's tutorial will be on econometrics. In case of any query with regard to any of our tutorials, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, do check in our website. Now let us read the question. Today we will be solving 10.4 question number. The question says or reads, if the relation this is equal to 0, now an exact relationship is said to exist if the following condition, this condition will be satisfied, where if you remember under multicollinearity, the condition was that all the coefficients that is lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are constant such that not all of them are zero simultaneously are zero simultaneously so when this is proved given this condition then we say that there is an exact relationship okay so next move let us move on so for the values this we need to estimate these figures and also we need to find out the coefficient of determination we need to find out the coefficient of as well as coefficient of determination and coefficient of correlation okay now so let us write this equation okay so here we have three variable th three constants equal to zero now we can write x1 i as this x2 i so i'm shifting apart from x1 i i will shift everything to the right hand side lambda 1 and lambda 1 now i'll do this for all for x2 i and also for x3 i so let me do it so it will be x1 i minus x3 x3 i then this will be lambda 2 and this will be lambda 2 then x3 i will be minus x1 i minus lambda 2 x2 i by lambda 3 and lambda 3 now i will substitute so in place of x2 by lambda 2 by lambda 1 i'm writing beta 1 2 3 x2 i plus beta 1 3 x3 i okay so we will continue this so what i am doing is that i am replacing minus lambda 2 by lambda 1 by beta 1 2 dot 3 and i am replacing minus lambda 3 by lambda 1 by beta 1 3 holding 2 as constant that means x2 constant so if i continue the same way i'll get something like this 3 2 holding x1 constant i this will be 1 3 1 x1 i plus p 3 2 x2 i where all the betas are the partial regression coefficients okay 
Now having said that, let us quickly derive the value of r square, all the r squares as well as the r. Now first we need to derive the partial co correlation coefficient between y and x2 holding x3 constant which is given by this. So if we want to derive it will look something like this. So this is equal to beta hat 1 2 dot 3 into beta hat 2 1 dot 3. This actually means the partial coefficient between x1 and x2 holding the value of x3 constant. Okay, so x3 constant. So this will be square root of lambda 2 lambda 1 into lambda 1 lambda 2 and then we will get plus minus 1. Similarly, if we repeat this thing for all the cases, we will get the same value. Okay. Where R2, 3, 1, dot 1 is the partial coefficient, correlation coefficient between X2 and X3 holding X1 constant. So, hence, now let us write the value of coefficient of determination or coefficient so we r square 1 2 3 will be or r square 1 2 3 will be r 1 2 square plus this is the formula which we are using r13 square dot 2 and this will be equal to 1. Similarly, we will get r2 r square 1 3 equal to 1 which will be equal to ok. So, we find that the degree of multicollinearity is perfect in this case because it is 1. So, I hope this short tutorial on econometrics was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.